Cake Alaska, big river baby, coming after wild trout, if we're lucky we'll land a steelhead, we're definitely targeting dollies and cutties, look at this boy, all geared up ready to go, 100 layers on, you ready or what son, yep, yep, what time is it, fish time, time to fish, time to fish, okay let's go, stay tuned guys, whatever we catch today we're gonna roast on a fire, show you how we do it, clink it style, Moose rubbings, he says. Holy, watch out for Mr. Disc. Oh, yeah, moose tracks right there, boy. Holy, watch out for Mr. Disc. Look at this tree. Look at this tree, where? Put on it. He sure did. That's a good eye, son. Look at that, all the way up. Holy, watch out for Mr. Disc. Let's go see if we can put ourselves on some fish. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? I've kind of got the camera set up on a little bit of a sketchy, slippery spot. So I'm gonna go through Randy's setup here. We're gonna start fishing. So for specs on the rod, we're fishing a two-piece Ugly Stick GX2. I believe it's a medium action. Yep, seven-foot medium action from his Papa Kassank. We've got high-vis, 30-pound braid on there. His special Fish Us, Fish US bobber, passed down from his Papa Steve. And my boy picked out, I believe it's a 1 16th ounce chartreuse jig head with a red and white trout magnet. So we're gonna get this thing in. This is where we're gonna fish. We're only in about two feet of water. So his flotation device is more to keep him warm, but I think we'll keep that on all day. A little bit slippery, two feet of water, he could stand up in it, but we'll keep it on him to keep him warm. Here's our bait. We're gonna get out there. Let's see if we can hook up on the first cast, baby. I turned the camera off. We switched from bobber and bait. My son picked out a chatterbait, Rapala rainbow trout rig. Second cast with his Rapala. Hold up your catch, son. Hold up your catch. He didn't even cast out far, probably four feet out. Hooks in the mouth when it's blowing from the south, baby. That's my boy. He reeled it in, he landed it himself. I just picked it up. He picked this tip out of the water and I grabbed the fish. We moved back a little further from the water and we clubbed it. Hell yeah. Wild cutthroat, baby. Wild cutthroat. Look at that. That's my son. That's my boy right there. The birds are celebrating. The birds are celebrating with us here. They're circling us now. Yee-hoo. Good job, Randy Bell. Good job. Didn't even need the net boy. He reeled it in until he couldn't and turned the rod tip right toward me and I just grabbed it and put it back. He grabbed it, clubbed it himself. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We stuck it out. He said he was cold about 15 minutes ago. Second cast from his switch up the bait. He picked out the bait himself. Picked out a chatter bait. A little tiny rainbow trout imitation. He reeled it in. It makes a rattle noise. Second cast, he hooked up, baby. Should we get another one? One and done. We'll try for a couple more anyway. No? <laughs> hey! Hold it up here. <laughs> Okay, now stop recording! 
Okay. Okay. Andy's catch. Learn how to fillet it. First off, measure. Good to stop right there. There you go. Time to build a grill. Head, tail, and eggs are going to be bait for future fishing trips. And first thing we're going to do is rinse off the fillets a little bit better. Then we're going to salt them, pepper them, throw some butter on some tin foil so it doesn't stick while that fire burns and turns into coals. Let's do a little bit of food prep. We butter both sides and we salted and peppered the fish and we're gonna put it on the coals. That's right. Buttered both sides, salted and peppered both sides. We're gonna wrap each of them up individually and put them on the coals. Mm-hmm. heavier than what we're cooking. We're ready to go. So we've got some real hot direct heat. We're going to try to cook along here on the indirect heat. So it's still hot enough to cook but we're not going to put it right in the flame. And we're going to go skin side down first. We're going to tuck it right up on the rock. And we're going to we're going to flip it off and we're going to make sure it doesn't burn. And these are so thin it won't take long to cook. This fish was swimming in the water two hours ago. So put this one right here. Just put it there real slow, you'll be okay. Perfect. A little bit of direct flame on there, so we're gonna scoot it back a bit. We're cooking.
just right, I could tell with the butter it's sizzling a lot. They're just right, you could tell because the butter is sizzling a lot. Like that. Man. Okay, that's a good video, bye. Video? Okay, guys and gals, that's our first ever catch and cook. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more videos coming for you. We've got my perfect little wingman here. I just wish I didn't turn the camera off when I did, because as soon as I turned the camera off and looked away, Mini Me pulled that fish in. Be sure to like and subscribe. Yay. Drop a like, drop a comment, share the video with your friends. We hope you learned something. We hope it was fun to watch. Anything else to add, son? See you next time. Yeah.